Star Trek on Paramount Plus made a big announcement yesterday that they are changing up their schedule a little bit. Um, so this week, episode seven of Discovery will be the final Discovery episode uh, before a mid-season break until early February. And then for the next five weeks will just be the next five episodes of Prodigy. So instead of the two shows going concurrently running at the same time, um, they're now going to be one after the other. And does that mean that Picard is getting pushed back a little bit more if they're going to be four, five, or six more episodes of Discovery starting in February, then that means they'll end in like mid-March. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Good question. Oh, well, Muhammad, you can't you can't say what you think. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know like if they're, they're going to overlap or not. I don't know the answer. <laughs> Emery, what do you think? Okay, so, oh, here, wait. Okay, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, it's really hard to know because, so a lot of the articles like Trek Movie and Trek Core, they're like saying that Discovery will have 13 episodes probably because that's usually the standard for the order. Mm -hmm. But on IMDb, it still is saying 11 episodes. And if it's 11 episodes, I think only like one week would overlap with Picard. But it seems like Paramount Plus is really pushing to only have one episode on a week, except for that one day where we got to that glorious day. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of guessing Picard will be pushed back because there's no reason to have both of them going on for like three or four weeks together. Mm -hmm. Well, um, also, everybody, we do want to say, please be sure to like this video or give this five stars if you're listening in. Um, you know, subscribe to this channel, do all the things that help this kind of channel or medium thrive. Muhammad right now on his phone has given the video a like for us. Thank you, Muhammad. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so be sure to share this with your friends. Give us a like, comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you think. And uh, let's continue on. Um, here is, uh, let's see. Was it time to unpack Jonathan Freakism? Well, not yet. Oh, okay. So here's yeah. what we're talking about here, guys. Yeah. Um, great picture, by the way. Oh, it is. Camera loves iconic, her. gorgeous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Mid-season finale, December 30th, 2021. That's this Thursday. Season four returns mm -hmm. February 10th, right? So that's going to be, what, you know, five weeks without it, which is exactly mm -hmm. how many more episodes we have of Prodigy in the first half of prodigies first season um and i'm sure there were a lot of silly comments attached to that oh, the other really <laughs> shut up it's because i helped host a discovery party at barracuda bar in manhattan and it's really hard to like do the bar schedule and get this amazing event space on saturdays to host like parties that really um like excel engagement especially with the LGBT community and how iconic Discovery is for that. So and just be nice to have a little group? heads up. What group is um, that? To proudly go Yeah. Great. on all social media. With like it'd, be great. it'd be great, great if the security. shows do overlap a little bit, though, don't you think? I mean, it'd be, it'd be like back in the 90s again, like with you know, Deep Space Nine and Voyager. I know, really I nice. love it. Yeah. it. It gives people an opportunity to, you know, I don't know. Sometimes you want a different flavor of Trek and, and it, it gives you an opportunity to have that in your palette as well. Mm -hmm. oh my God. Just, yeah. What if we had two Star Treks and an Orville on the same day? Whoa. I think my head would explode. Yeah. Gross. I'd be awake all night. <laughs> Sounds messy. It's yeah. going to clean up after that. Uh, I, I just love how spoiled we're all getting. Whereas a few years ago, we're like, we'll take anything. New Star Trek, just give us something. Just give us anything. And now we're like, I, I want a little bit of variety, Star Trek. I want to have two or three things coming out at the same time. Like, well, I just I mean, want to like the old days. That in the 90s. We did. When we had TNG and Deep Space Nine, and yeah. then Deep Space Nine and Voyager. So yeah. it was glorious. 
I think that's okay. But also like really hard to keep up with. And I ended up like actually not even watching Star Trek anymore for like decades because my VHS like couldn't handle it because it would always be like postponed for sports and then my tape would oh, run out yeah. and I'd get behind. But I guess like streaming is a different animal where that can't happen. But um, Mike Goo is actually in the live chat and he's reminding us that we also don't know when Strange New World's going to drop. Like, I think, um, well, we'll talk about the Strange New Worlds in a minute, but so far it's an unconfirmed start date for 2022 sometime. I don't feel like it would, they would lose people by by having them overlap a little bit. I mean, it, it's one thing if they, if they completely overlap, but just having a little bit of a tail there, it's not like people are all going to be like, oh, well, I'm going to cancel my Paramount Plus subscription for like a week okay. and bring it back. <laughs> to be fair, I kind of do that. Because sometimes you know? when you, some, okay, here's a spoiler. Sometimes when you do that, they give you free months to come back. Oh. Yeah. But you didn't hear it from me. Ryan, you're muted. Oh, sorry. When Discovery's first season ended, um, I did that where I just like, I was just like, okay, cool. Well, that was great. I enjoyed it. Now let me cancel Paramount Plus. And they're like, are you sure you don't want to come back for five dollars a quarter? And I was like, no, thanks. They're like, we'll pay you. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. deal. <laughs> <We'll pay you. laughs> to be Whatever fair, sometimes when there's new Star Trek, I'll do two subscriptions and give one away just to oh. like really support it because I love Star Trek so much. So I'm not trying to like get like not support the art. But yeah, since then I don't I've feel, kept I don't my feel Paramount like... Plus for three years straight, my subscription. Well, that I understand, but I was thinking like if they overlap by let's say for example, there's a week gap. I don't think anybody would cancel for that week and bring it oh, back. Yeah. You see what I mean? Like, I, I, I get for the end of discovery because then there was a long gap, right? Then uh, indeterminately long. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Melissa, mm-hmm. I interrupted you. Well, I mean, I, I just I don't see that there's a really big deal if there is a an overlap in shows other than the the subscription thing because streaming makes it easy you you just after you watch one switch to the other one who cares which one you watch first <laughs> it doesn't matter the live group the live facebook group live commentary which i'm so like super obsessed with at 3 a.m and more and then <laughs> go on that one that That's was one of my Sophie's favorite choice that was one of my favorite <laughs> things back in november when we had that one time that we had two on one day of thinking, well, which one should I watch first? And yeah. I came to the conclusion that obviously I should watch Prodigy first because that's the one that's ending and then yeah. watch Discovery because that's, but that was fun. But then what are we going to do if they're like all going at the same time? And I'm going to be, my head will also explode, Anne-Marie. Also write letters to Orville asking them to like change it to a different day so we can have like <laughs> all of the joy spread out a few days, over a few days. But um. Well, the Tuesday other thing that's good. like an in- Tuesday would be fun or Friday. I was thinking because I guess they like to drop them so that people can watch on the weekend because they don't realize how crazy of a fan base it is. Like I'm gonna wait till the weekend to watch a new Orville. But um, <laughs> one like interesting thing about Paramount is plus though is now like that Star Trek's actually being for real taken off of every single streaming service. Like obviously I can't go that long without watching Voyager and um, TNG and Deep Space Nine. So they kind of have me over a barrel. Mm. That's, good. That's a good point. Like people were following, you know, the seventh rule or even other things like Delta Flyers, all those things. Like anybody who's following them, they're going to have to keep their Paramount Plus subscription mm-hmm. now. Yeah, it's a good point. And we still don't know. Uh, Muhammad, was that you there saying uh, we still don't know when Strange New Worlds is coming out, right? It wasn't me. It was one of the others. Uh, Mike Goo. Oh, Mike Goo said that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do we know? Does anybody, I think it's still going to be a while, right? All we've, all I've seen confirmed is 2022. And then the little tidbit that Jonathan Frakes told us. But right. Didn't he say something about February as well? For season, that's for the next season filming starting. Right, right. Well, okay. Before it even airs. Before it even airs. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about uh, Jonathan Frakes. And all of the tea that he spilled yeah. all over everybody's laps on the internet. Um, Is it regular Earl Grey hot or? <laughs> I don't decaf? think I don't think Frakes drinks that kind of tea. What kind of tea? He this is a good question for the live people chat. in the live chat. What kind of tea do you think Jonathan Frakes oh. drinks? I know this: the prohibition <laughs> prohibition punch out of teacups because it's jazzy. What's the tea that 
Kira drinks or they drink on a few of them on oh, Deep yeah, Space yeah. Nine drink it. It's like Torellian tea or something. What's his name? Uh, Bashir drinks it too. I've heard them say it on Deep Space Nine a few I times. That's right. Okay, that's two remember. questions. Everybody in the live chat, what kind of tea would Riker drink? And what is that tea that they talk about? No, and, and then Ducat drinks red leaf tea. I think Ducat said he drinks red leaf tea. Oh, can you that imagine? actually sounds yummy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sounds boisterous. <laughs> like Roy <Roybus>. Boister. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Tarkalian tea. tea. Thank yeah. you, Faith Howard. Ah. Tarkalian tea. Very I like good. Glenn Iverson's response of, of Long Island iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Nice. Yeah. Glenn Iverson, nicely done and happy birthday again. 